even when I explain what it is, like, wait, so what can you make with it? Well, uh, it's a very core ingredient in Japanese cooking. So like sushi? Uh, n no. Uh, oh, so like, uh, like a hibachi? No, like real Japanese thing. Like what? Uh, like a oyakodon. What's that? It means mother-daughter reunion. Well, it's a chicken and egg. You know what? Forget it. White male, white cisgender male says sushi isn't real Japanese. Internet goes ablaze. Ablaze. Today on No Panic Pantry, we are making dashi. Dashi is kind of the base stock of so much Japanese cooking, and it really is just three ingredients. Water, we've got kombu, which is like a dried kelp, and we have katsuobushi, sometimes called bonito flakes, which is a dried shaved fish. I learned how to make this originally from this cookbook. To my understanding, it was the first cookbook that was essentially used as like a textbook to teach Japanese cooking to a Western audience. So I'm literally just gonna use his recipe. I just put it in the pot and just kind of bend it so it's submerged. You're shooting for about 10 minutes for it to heat up. So it's slowly extracting the flavor. What you don't wanna ever do is boil your kelp. If you're boiling kombu, you're kind of making it a very nasty kind of bitter, weird flavor. We're gonna let it gently come up. We'll check back in about 10 minutes. And at that point, you should be able to like use your thumbnail and feel that it's tender. So once the water hits a boil, you lift it up, check it, take it out. There you go. Lift it up, let it drain, set them in here to be used again later in date. Feels nice and tender. Now, quarter cup of cold water, cool it down. One ounce of katsuobushi. So we've got an ounce of kombu, ounce of bonito, liter of water. And now, as soon as this starts to bubble, now we turn it off. Let the uh, katsubushi kind of settle, let it sit for about a minute, and then we'll strain it out. Then we've got dashi, and then we'll make secondary dashi. We skim a little bit of the foam off the top and then strain it through cheesecloth. If you don't strain it, you get this like sediment, which is fine, but if you wanted to be a fancy boy, you would strain it and it'll come out looking gorgeous like this. You can now like put like a shiso leaf in there and like a poached shrimp and uh, just drink that. But now we're going to make secondary dashi. This is the more rough and tumble dashi. This is the, we still got some katsuobushi left in here. We've still got our kombu left in here. So then you take our leftover kelp, put that in. All right, so now we're gonna take this, we're gonna bring it to a boil, then we're gonna reduce it to a simmer, let it simmer for about 15, 20 minutes. Then we're gonna add another half ounce of the katsubushi in to give it that little fresh flavor at the end. And while he's going, shall we try some primary dashi? Eliza, will you take a sip of primary dashi? A calming, comforting experience for the whole family? This is like what you'd make a nice clear soup with. How nice. It's exactly what it should be. Yeah. Okay, you can go get ready for Wait, your is that dinner. Seaweed? Is that there, seaweed? Is there salt in it? There is seaweed and dried fish flakes in it. I mean, it's just great. This is just like the purest form and it's delicious. This is going for about 10 minutes. We're gonna add this in and then turn the heat off and let it do its thing. I love the way they like kind of dance in the heat. This is done. It's our secondary dashi, and I'm gonna put this in the fridge so that another day in the morning, instantly for you, later for me, uh, we can make a little something with our secondary dashi. So I'm literally just gonna strain it straight into these containers. We should have put the first one in a container so you can see it side by side. It all kind of looks like urine. It's fine. <laughs> we need to get. We need some reason for someone to watch a dashi episode. Luckily, it spilled down the crack between the cabinet and the stove where we'll never see it again. Here is some rice that I made yesterday that I kind of messed up and overcooked, but leftover rice is perfect for zosui. Zosui is basically a leftover rice soup. First thing we're gonna do is actually gonna take our rice and we're gonna run it under cold water and try to break it up as much as we can. You wanna get as much of the starch off of it as you can so that you get individual 
grains of rice, not clumps of rice. Dashi, going in. Dashi number two, going in. I'm just gonna bring this to a simmer. Meanwhile, let's chop up some vegetables. So we'll take some daikon. Daikon's are really delicious. Uh, radish, you can eat it raw, you can grate it onto stuff, or you can just slice up some for a little soup. And then this guy, I'm just gonna cut like this. I just happen to have this yu choy on hand. It's just a nice little Chinese green. And I'm gonna put this in later because it cooks very fast. Uh, cabbage would be great if you have some cabbage lying around. Some scallions. I'll probably um, like take the green parts and put them in at the end. The dark green is nice raw and the lighter ones kind of cook. So I'll do a little bit of both. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt to this. We're gonna add a little bit of shoyu. A little soy sauce, which is shoyu, the shoyu state. And remember, this is the only seasoning, the only salt's going into it. You can add more when you eat it. So this is gonna be seasoning all this stuff too. So it can be a touch saltier. Our dashi is simmering. Let's add some of our ingredients. We got some carrots, add our daikon. We'll let this simmer first. So now we can add our mushrooms into the mix. I'm gonna add our Scallion whites and light greens are no longer starchy rice. And you kind of want to stir it around, make sure your rice doesn't have any big clumps in it. I'm gonna bring this back to a simmer. Oh, I should add these greens in too. And I remember that I had some wakame, which is just dried seaweed and is super good for you and also delicious. It's one of the most sustainable things on the planet. If there was more seaweed farming, you can farm without fresh water. You can be growing food without fresh water. And it's also cleaning the planet while you're growing it. And it's super good for you. So we'll sprinkle a little bit of that in there. A little more soy sauce. Big finish. We're gonna pour this over the top and then kind of stir it a little bit and then let some of it kind of settle on top as well. So now we're gonna let this go for like 30 seconds, like a minute until we have cooked egg. Heat off. Zosui. We made primary dashi. We made secondary dashi. We made zosui. It's very hot. It's just like a nice little restorative, it'd be a nice breakfast too, to be honest. It's great.